Depositors of the Pilgrims Fund Board or Tabong Haji are not required to return the hiba or bonus that has been given to them, says Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Dato Sri Dr. Mujahid Yusuf Rawa. He said the reason for this was that the depositors had no knowledge of the misappropriation of fund in Tabong Haji. Itu bukan masalah orang yang menerima. Itu adalah masalah uh, pengurusan. Jadi apa yang apa yang kita buat ialah nak membaiki pengurusan itu supaya ke depan dia ikut dengan uh, cara yang betul. So mereka tak perlu bimbang lah nak bayar balik ke atau macam mana. Saya rasa isunya ialah di peringkat pengurusan dan mereka tidak bertanggungjawab apa-apa. Mereka hanya terima saja. Sebab itu kami terpaksa dedahkan semua ini. Mujahid told a media conference after the handing over of 25 million ringgit in a location under the 2019 budget for registered pondok schools by Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng on Tuesday. He said this in response to public concerns over the halal status of the hiba received by Tabong Haji depositors following a report stating that Tabong Haji had been illegally paying the hiba to its depositors since 2014, which contravened the Tabong Haji Act 1995. On the issue of non-Muslim restaurants displaying Quranic verses at their premises to attract Muslim customers, Mujahid said the Malaysian Islamic Development Department of Jakim and the Domestic Trade and Consumer Affairs Ministry would act if there were reports. Kita memantau lah semua tempat-tempat yang begini dan memang akan ada tindakan yang bersesuaian dengan undang-undang yang ada lah. The issue of a non-Muslim operating a mamak restaurant surfaced following a video recording which went viral of an incident where an employee of a restaurant in Section 25 in Shah Alam slapped a man for smoking at the premises. The incident led to a discovery that the mamak restaurant belonged to a non-Muslim and this has resulted in netizens questioning the halal status of the restaurant.